Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. Welcome. Today I thought I would start the shoot in my kitchen um, because what I have for you is you've all heard of the phrase trash to treasure. Well, today I have a Dollar Tree treasure to trash. Or maybe it's trash to trash. I guess you'll see. I hope you join me. What do you say? Let's go. So I have so much to show you. I don't even know where to begin. So I am just going to pull it out of the bag. The first piece of treasure was this lovely pack of Snicker bars. This was the six pack. Um, my husband finished all those up. We also finished this Crush watermelon. These are the uh, little packets that go in your water bottle. Yummy, yummy. I love these things. Also, this next item was a huge hit with everybody, including the grandkids. And you would think maybe lemon would be a little bit of a sophisticated taste, but nope, everybody loved them. The European um, lemon flavored cookies. So I highly recommend those. Um, also, now this next thing um, is I highly recommend. I wished that I could find more, and it's this uh, the holographic foil mask bar, the mask for your face. And it just looks so cool on, too. Like, I could totally see like working this into a Halloween costume. I loved this product. So, if I can find any more of these, I definitely would get that. Um, another product that my husband gobbled up is this Boom Chicka Boom Angie's. Um, this one is the sweet and salty kettle corn. He loves this. Now this next one, um, I saved the packaging because I think the graphics were so cute. It's the Scooby-Doo Sour Straws Assorted Fruit Flavors. I have to say, sadly, um, for, I know everybody's tastes are different, but for me and my grandkids, um, nobody liked it. The little straws are really hard. They're like a really hard licorice. So it's, and they did not have any sourness that we could taste. So it's just like little hard licorice bites. So the packaging is absolutely adorable, but sadly the product we were just not a fan of, um, I love these fab tabs. I still am able to find these at my Dollar Tree. You get a pack of 10, so I love those. Um, now this candy is a huge hit. These Carnival Mini Pops, um, you can see you get the two different shapes there. You get five of this egg-shaped one and three of these little twirly horn ones in a bag. Um, my grandchildren love these, so I just keep on buying those. Um, these pretzel eggs, these things are delicious, so I just keep buying those. And these, I just keep buying these. And, you know, I can eat, this little package is like one serving for me, sadly. It says you get two and a half servings, um, per container at three pieces, so six, what, like nine pieces, so I can eat that whole bag <laughs> in a serving. Once I open it, that's the end. But those are really good. Another big hit on the candy, these Trolley Sour Gummies. Now these definitely were sour. These are delicious, so these I would get again. Um, this individual Celeste pizza. Can microwave it. No issues. So that is a good product. These little Dutch made old fashioned ginger snaps. I pick these up for my husband. He goes through these things like mad. So um, 
and I know when I hauled them I was like oh you know I was thinking ginger snaps just for the holidays and you know they don't have to be they can just be for everyday um, enjoyment and so these definitely have a nice sharp ginger taste and a really good snap to the cookie no sogginess they're not soft so really good ginger snaps um, this is the 25% uh, more. This was the TGA, TGI Fridays mozzarella sticks. My granddaughter was a big fan. My grandson could take them or leave them. Um, I honestly could take them or leave them. Again, everybody's taste is different. Now, I tell you all, in my hauls, I'm always hauling the um, room freshener sprays, and I tell you I go through a lot of it. Well... I'm not kidding, you're going to see all my empties. So here's my Glade, this is the Aqua Waves. The Wizard, um, this one was Fresh Vanilla, and then um, Bubbly Berry Splash by Glade. This one I absolutely love. It smells like jelly beans. This is a great one. Uh, this one did not have a super song strong scent so i personally you know will look for this one and then i have a new one that i'm currently using that's like an orange citrus one and um the wizard i often have trouble with these uh sprayer tops kind of like uh pooping out part way through so um you know i try to go for the glade before the wizard typically we also go through a ton of this Home Bright disinfectant spray. This one is the Country Scent, so my store carries it in the Country Scent and the Fresh Linen. I think I prefer the Fresh Linen, but anytime I can get, you know, the disinfectant spray for a buck, um, I do it. I just hauled these the other day, and my hubby already has polished off one box, so see, good thing I got him two and these are the dots and the box and the candies are all decked out in their Easter colors so you know this is really nice oh yep we used another one of the uh, fab tabs I have this currently in use in my half bath toilet and it's this little Lysol um, toilet bowl refresher it has a plastic hook that you hook onto the side of your toilet bowl. Now, I'm not sure if it will fit everybody's. One of my subscribers said, you know, that it didn't fit hers. So in my half bath, the uh, toilet bowl is quite small. So I was able to make it fit. But, you know, so just be aware of that. It may not necessarily be a universal fit. But I have to say, what I really like about this is, again, my half bath is tiny. But this product being in the toilet, when I open the door to the bathroom, the whole bathroom smells fresh. So that has accomplished something that all like those little Dollar Tree like air fresheners and things that I try that, you know, I open them and I can't smell anything. Um, so, you know, this actually is doing like double duty for me, <laughs> keeping the toilet bowl fresh, but actually making the whole little half bath smell fresh. So this is something I'm definitely going to purchase again. Um, and I don't know, you guys let me know, like is, since I like this product so much, is it worth me getting it at the Dollar Tree? Or does a place like Walmart or something sell a multi-pack that it works out to a better price than, um, you know, a dollar a piece? I'd be curious because I really liked that. Pine Saw, same thing. Love this product. We used that up. Um, dryer sheets, another must-have, I think, from the Dollar Tree. This was one of the 55 packs. They have name brands also, but I always look for the one that I get the most for my buck. Um, so I liked these. We used that up. Oh, my hazelnut um, Nestle Coffee Mate Coffee Creamer. Again, this is a nice thing just to keep in your pantry. So um, I typically buy from the grocery store the refrigerated um, Coffee Mate uh, 
products but this is a great little size to take if you get to travel someplace you know go camping that type of thing you just do though have to refrigerate this once you open it so that's just something to keep in mind but as I say a good size you know to take with you on vacation or a little weekend getaway um, these I love these my grandkids love these the bakers select chocolate chip mini muffins these things are delicious and here is the favorite for my plus three <laughs> my little furry babies and especially mr Bryn, the honey nut toasted oats and i am so glad the dollar tree sells these when i can find the 20 percent more box i get them um, because my pups do not like the plain cheerio flavored they want the honey nut and I'm sure that is because whatever's making that flavor is a nice sugar coating and my dogs like people um, like their sugar so you know we limit these are just so tiny that it's their little like special treat so we definitely I don't want you all to think I'm giving them like big bowls <laughs> of Cheerios as meals they're tiny dogs and so regular dog treats um don't agree with them so we discovered that just a little cheerio toss it up in the air they catch it in their mouth and it's just the perfect little bite treat for them um, speaking of treats this is a treat that my grandchildren love the lucky charms um, another youtuber mentioned about you know buying these smaller packets of name brand cereal at the dollar tree to uh, you know not have so much waste and I have to say it was a great tip because we get about four bowls out of this you know and then my grandkids are tired of it whatever so instead of buying you know a four plus dollar box of cereal that ends up two-thirds of it going to the birds anyways these little individual you know not quite individual but you know it would be if you had a couple of kids you know just one of these for a breakfast is probably you know would would be what you'd need so again this would be the uh, like an awesome thing to take if they're going to grandma's for the weekend um in my case mimi um <laughs> or you know you're going on vacation or again camping you know sizes like this are awesome for that we haven't camped in years but um you know back in the day that would be the perfect thing as with this i absolutely love these things if you have watched my channel before whenever i haul or discuss toastum pop-ups i tell you all how i would take these hands down any day over kellogg's no offense to kellogg's and maybe you know the majority of you like kellogg's more but something about these i'm telling you i just love these but it does have to be the strawberry so i can't speak to the other flavors um, comparing them to anything again it's for me the frosted strawberry so i don't know let me know what you think you know do you prefer these over kellogg's or if you love kellogg's pop tarts and you have never tried the dollar tree ones i'd give them a try you know again because a dollar a box just see what you think if you don't like it you know to me not a huge loss right Oh, here's another bag. My hubby's been busy. The more of the Angie's Boom Chicka Pop Sweet and Salty Kettle Corn. He loves this stuff. Doesn't have a lot of sodium in it, so it is a um, treat that he can eat. So I get that for him. Here's another delicious treat. The Mrs. Freshly's uh, Mini Powdered Donuts. A great deal for a dollar, as is these mini fruit roll-ups so these are the mini rolls you get five the tie-dyed flavors um, these are really good i was just trying to see if i already threw the box on the floor but um oh like the trolley sour candies my grandson discovered that if you take one of those and you wrap it up in a fruit roll-up it is quite the dessert so he's the little connoisseur um 
of sweetness. <laughs> but so I pick those up whenever we run out. Oh, and these microwave safe consumer natural choice paper plates. I love that you get 40 in a pack for a dollar. So I keep those in stock. So, you know, uh, do any of you have like an absolute must-have favorite item from the Dollar Tree, like when it comes to food? Or maybe you like totally steer clear of the food there? I don't know. As you can see, we enjoy a lot of food products. But I gotta tell you, I think this next one, if I could only ever buy one more food, from the Dollar Tree, I think it would be this. And it's the Home Style Baking Golden Home Bakery Products Ultra Thin Pizza Crust. I cannot say enough about this stuff. It comes in this one large size or a pack of two individual sizes. These things are great. I preheat the pizza stone in my oven. Um, you know, throw a little sauce, toppings on this. I have included in some of my past videos, um, like taco leftovers. You put them on this and bake it in the oven. Delicious. So this is a great, great product. So for me, I would say this is my number one Dollar Tree food item must have. So I'd be curious, you know, what you all think that is your favorite, if you have one. Um, we went through, yes, another box of the mini muffins. And I didn't save everything. I tried to, you know, save stuff when I could. So this has been over the past couple of weeks. This is another thing that, you know, we go through. I mean, if I had saved every one of these packs, it'd probably be, you know, eight of these bags that I'd be showing you. So, you know, when I knew I had one of something, I typically just tried to put in recycling or throw away the others. But these Ocean Spray Craisins, those are a big hit in our house. Um, this True Lemon, I bought this the first time by accident, and now I just have to have it. This is awesome in a bottle of water um, every morning, and for tea, for baking, one little pack equals the flavor of one wedge of lemon. So, and you get 12 packets in here, so, and a long shelf life. So I was really happy that is a new discovery for me at the Dollar Tree. This is another thing that my husband eats, you know, I don't know, a couple of bags of these a week probably. The freeze-dried strawberries, he loves these things. Um, my Dollar Tree carries two brands, which I only think I threw, yeah, one bag in here. So this is the So Natural. So these um, are the ones that the strawberries are larger size. He prefers the Be Fruitful, I think it's called, where the strawberries are sliced, but he'll take either one. Um, so he loves these, and they have, at my store, they have strawberries, apple, mango, um, I think that's it, usually. But in any case, freeze-dried, awesome shelf life. These are delicious. More pretzel eggs. I guess we truly do like those. Ah, and the speckled jelly beans. This is another product we go through a lot of, the speckled ones, the regular jelly beans this time of year. Um, so I always try to grab those. Oh, this is another great product, Global Beauty Care Retinol Under Eye Pads. I love these things. I feel like they are making my eyes nice and smooth. And, you know, even in the long run, if they are not really doing anything and it's all in my head, I can tell you for the 20 minutes that I sit there with them on, they just feel really refreshing. So to me, that's like worth the dollar anyways. Like, you know, a little pampering a Friday night, do this. If it's in my head, <laughs> I feel like it's making a difference. It's making a difference, right? Because it's making me feel better. Uh, let's see, what is this? Oh, five pack value of the Chewy Lemon Head Candies. These were surprisingly really good. So it was five little boxes. They were in Easter packaging, but I believe the Dollar Tree carries these Chewy Lemon Heads um, 
year round. So I don't know year round if there are always other colors or they're yellow because that was kind of the funny thing is they tasted like lemon but yet like they were red and green but in any case really yummy so i was happy we got to those um oh more palmer chocolate these are just the not the pretzel eggs but just the milk chocolate um eggs again a must have for easter yes more of my addiction the reese's um peanut butter and these are the egg shaped so really cute and look at the little chick adorable and then oh yes the chandelier bulbs now these I don't go through that often it says you get 2,000 hours I am would have no idea because I have never done an experiment to time how long mine lasts but you get two bulbs um these are the 40 watt and at my dollar tree in the chandelier bulbs that is the only wattage i was actually looking for some that were 20 and um, i have never found them but again some sunbeam is the brand uh so you know i think for a buck you can't beat it and here's another e-circuit product this is a ring phone holder, so I got that for my husband. It seems to be making a difference. He always has what I call the phone claw. You know, he'll be like, my hand is cramping. And I'll be like, it's because you're holding your phone too long. You know that, the, the claw from holding the cell phones. So at least with this little ring, it sticks on the back of your cell phone and he has his cell phone in a case, you know, so it's not harming the phone. And that way you can just slip your finger into it and you can keep your hand out straight like that instead of the claw. So I got him that, seems to be helping. So um, we will see. But I think that I have probably shared enough of my treasure that is now trash, or maybe some of you think, I don't know, that I guess some of the candy and things, right? We could say it was trash to start with because it's not good for you. But, you know, we, at least in my household, are going to eat treats anyways. <laughs> so when I can get them for only a buck, it's like that's what I'm going to do. So that is all of the trash I have to share for today. In my opinion, it's treasure. Um, I hope that maybe I showed you something that the next time you're at the Dollar Tree, you'll think, hey, Shelby thought that candy was pretty good. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd also love to hear if you have any must-have items that you think I would really love because I love hearing people's recommendations. I have tried a couple new products um, based on you know, tips and information from some of my subscriber friends. They're not in this haul currently because I have not finished them all off yet. I'm trying to be good. <laughs> so, um, oh, also, before I go, I will just mention, I think it will be the beginning of next week. I am going to put up my Easter spring home tour, and I'm very excited because I absolutely love to decorate so if that is something um you would enjoy seeing or you know more of a peek inside my home i'd love it if you would stick around and look out for that but regardless everybody until next time please be well <music>